Hey, it's a little falava. This is Leah Tawa, Dr. John Peterson, and you're watching TE2 Edge Sports Cards, coming at you live and direct from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Got some good weather out here this week. It's been a little bit cold, but uh, sun's been out, which has been always nice uh, to have the sun out. Uh, it's been good, and uh, overall, it's been a good week. Thursday, and uh, staying busy with work. Uh, the upcoming session on January 2nd has got me busy um, doing some policy advocacy, policy writing, a um, little bit of lobbying, that sort of thing. So it's been, a, it's been a good week. It's been a good week of work, and I hope the same is true for you. And I hope your family and friends and all the ones that you care about are, are doing well, um, too. So I thought I'd do a little market update and then also do a quick piece that my slabs did on my my slabs page. I I uh, was featured in the uh, my slabs. Uh, I don't know if they call it the newsletter or the article or whatever it's called. So I thought I'd show you folks that. But I wanted to start a little bit off. I'm a little bit late on this information, but that's okay. Uh, nothing has really changed terribly much uh, since the fifth of December. But wanted to do a weekly economic update. Um, so let's take a look at this data and this information here. It says that Friday's national payroll report was going to be closely watched for signs of accelerating economic slowdown. So as we've talked about before, the economy is pretty hot right now. Inflation has been increasing. Um, more recently, it's kind of flattened out. But, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty high on inflation. The number of new jobs uh, surpassed nearly 300,000 which adds a little bit more uncertainty to the economy inflation and what the Fed's going to do next. Um, they meet again on uh, the 14th, if I'm not mistaken, 14th of December, which is coming up pretty soon. Um, next week, in fact. Next week, I think, on Wednesday. So, or Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, one of those two days. They always meet on the Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but remember now, the Fed focuses on employment and wage growth as factors that contribute to inflation. So with these numbers still elevated, the Fed may be inclined to continue its path of rate hikes. Now, yesterday, there was some speculation in the market that the Fed is not going to raise interest rates as much as what they had previously said in the prior months. Um, but last week on Friday, uh, there was a sell-off in the markets. And then there was a nice rally to end the day. Mortgage rates ended the day unchanged. And the question is, why is that so? It says here inside the job data, there was the household survey component that when analyzed individually showed a net job loss, which is interesting because I just mentioned that the NPR uh, had indicated that there were uh, nearly 300,000 new jobs. So that casts a little bit of doubt on the the NPR report, the national payroll report, and folks are really going to be looking at, start looking at, um, focusing on consumer price index, CPI. And that report should come out on the 13th. That'll be the next big uh, inflation indicator, and uh, stakes are going to be high. The Fed will be meeting the next day, 1214, which I think is Wednesday. 1212 is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and wait a second here now. I think 12-12 is a, is a Monday, 12-13 is a Tuesday, 12-14 is a Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that information coming out next week. You'll see the markets respond accordingly, and then alternative asset classes like sports cards will, will in many ways follow that information. We're heading into the holidays. The holidays tend to be a time where people don't buy as many cards. The buying really happens more so in January. And later on in the spring, as we move toward the Super Bowl, NBA Finals, of course, the start of spring training in baseball. So a couple other things that I'd share. Uh, I thought I'd share just recent information on the indexes. Um, taking a look at, uh, well, let's look at baseball. So over the last six months, baseball is down 11.25. And over the last year, down a half percent. So overall, not too bad. All-time trend, as you can see here, baseball is down. So it's taken a dip in the last week since I showed you this data. It was right up here, 
now it's down here. So it's dropped a few basis points. Vintage, vintage is dropped. Vintage was right here on 12.2, and it's dropped down, down to 12.338. So it was at 12.805. This is all time data. Last year, it's down 2.33%. In the last six months, down 6.4%. I don't really do three months because the data is too. I mean, you can, but it's it's pretty skewed. Um, I don't I don't think it's super reliable just to go for three months. I think you got to go out at least a half year. Let's take a look at uh, the CL50. So this is 50 hand selected cards that best represent the card market um, over the last. Uh, let's see, six months. You're looking at a decrease of 18.09%. Just pretty significant. Um, one year down 23.5% or so. Last two years up 0.01% at all time. So we're dropping pretty 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 fast. I mean, if you look here, we're at 13,821 as of uh, yesterday. And that is right about where we were at. Um, at 12 13 December of 2020 just about two years ago so the big spike here has dropped significantly it's really interesting keep an eye on this this is a this is a definitely a downward trend for the CL 50 now what cards are in the CL 50 I don't know if you can see these very well I'll increase the view these are the big cards in the market You can filter them um, in a number of different ways, but you can see which cards are featured here. The Rose Rookie, the Bobby Orr Rookie, the Willie Mays 52, the Robinson Rookie, Tom Brady, so on and so forth. So you can see a lot of these are negative scores. Look at this Brady, 2000 Bowman Chrome, down 586 points. 86 Flair Michael Jordan down 718 points. I mean, if you're in, if you've got cash and you're into buying low, next week's going to be really important because if you see the market respond positively to a decrease or a flattening of the interest rates, you know, a basis point increase, point two, like two five, 25, 50, anything less than 75, I think is going to be perceived as a positive. But we'll see where CPI is at. Hopefully CPI is going down. If that's the case, you're going to see the alternative asset class market rebound. And card prices are going to, I think, follow that. Um, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an economist. Um, but I own a business and I have a realtor's license. And so I do follow this information pretty closely. Uh, going back to the other indices, let's take a look at uh, football. Footballs look just continues to, to go into a nosedive. All right, all time, we're still at about the levels we were at in early 2021. But over the last year, it's down 32.76%, down 39% in the last six months, and down 34% in the last month or three months. So Football might be your thing to buy right now, and here's the cards that we're talking about. Yeah, a lot of these scores are not available, which is too bad. But anyway, that's football. And then the last couple we'll look at, let's take a look at basketball. Ooh, basketball's taking a beating. Down 26 and a half, quarter, three quarter percent, six months. 31% over the last year, up 27.75% in the last two years, and then all time also in a nosedive, but not quite as pronounced as football. So depending on where you're at, might, now might be a decent time to, to see if there's anything that you want. Depends on how deep this, this drop's going to go. 
you know, are we going to go back to say like 2020 levels? You know, we got a ways to go yet before we hit that. So, and then the last one I want to look at is uh, modern. I could look at ultra modern too. You can see that's in a nosedive as well. All time, it's still up from where it was. Two years. One year down 33%. Six months down 30%. Three months down 26%. So everything we're looking at right now is down. Let's look at ultra modern quickly. Down 24, 25% in three months. Down 35% in the last six months. In the last year, down 30%. And then all time, still growth of 8,200. But we're starting at zero down here. Look where it's at. So I like to look where was it at two years ago. Right now it's at 83,083. You know we're we're right around the beginning of 2021. So I think there's it, it's important to take a look at one what the total basis is. They have this at 83, not basis, but what the total index indice is total number. The, the current value, I guess is what they call it. It's 83,083, you know, but how are we going to get down to like, you know, middle of pandemic? This is when the curve started going up right around June of uh, 2020. Okay, so that was, you know, we were three months into the pandemic at that point. And uh, we're at 39,000, and right now we're at 83,000. So there's quite a ways to go from 83 to 39,000 for ultra modern. So ultra modern is still up. Not not necessarily a time to panic unless you bought up here. If you bought up here, you're hurting for certain. So there's that. Lastly, uh, my slabs member spotlight. That's what they call it. The My Slabs member spotlight will be a weekly piece in which community members can share their personal hobby backgrounds, PC items, collecting and investing tips, industry pet peeves, and more. Any questions, comments, or requests to be the future of a to be the subject of a future member spotlight, kindly email member services uh, at My Slabs. So uh, I did mine. I sent in my information and uh, posted a few cards there, and uh, did a little. Spotlight here, so you get to know a little, know me and a little bit more about my background in uh, sports cards. It was a lot of fun, and it's cool to see. So uh, check that out. Um, I'll put the the link into the into the um, the description, the notes, the comments, or whatever. I'll make maybe make a comment on it so that you can click on that and, and see the constant contact um, uh, link that they use to uh, distribute the to distribute the spotlight. So, all right. I hope everybody has a blessed day out there. Hopefully this was helpful. Not too long. Um, but, uh, yeah, be looking for CPI to come out next week. And definitely take into consideration what the Fed says, what uh, the chairman says, Jerome Powell, because a lot of people hang on what he says. And uh, that, in conjunction with the CPI and then the jobs report, will help to formulate how people want to respond. And unemployment, too. Take a look at the unemployment rate and see where that's at. But make your own decisions. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take this as financial or accounting advice. I'm not an attorney, so I don't give legal advice. But uh, definitely get out there, gather your information, and uh, make good decisions. Peace out and one love.